we're going to do the baby dedication right now. And uh, Erica and Matt and Nancy Dijon's going to help me. Go ahead, um, give those to Nancy, please. And you can move around and take some pictures if you would like. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit to you, Matt and Erica, and then I'm going to take you in just a little bit. One of the purposes of the church is the Great Commission that people will realize that we're in need of a Savior to forgive us our sins. God did not have to create us, but he created us to expand the heaven and, or the family in heaven. And not only does he save us from our sins, but he wants to save and put man back where he's supposed to be before the fall, and the woman, and families. Amen? God wants to restore everything that was lost from Adam and Eve. And one of the great things is, is the family. Because as the strength of the family is, so is the strength of society. As the strength of a family is, so is the strength of the church. And so it's very important. Very important. Now, uh, in this church, I will, I will give a prophetic word over the baby. And if you're new... One of the gifts in the Bible is prophecy, and I pray about it on Saturday, and he gives me a few words of what will the future be of little Micah John Terlizzi. I say it right? All right. So I, uh, the Lord gave me some words, and I'm going to speak to you guys first, and then we're going to give you some gifts. All right. We have a, a Bible and some flowers, and then I'm going to take little Micah. This is what the Lord said to me yesterday. They that honor me, I will honor, and those that despise me, I will lightly esteem. Erica, you have honored the Lord, and because of that, the Lord is going to honor Matthew and you. The, Lord I, the Lord's eye is upon you. He sees what you do, and he hears your prayers. You have the heart of your mother, which you think is determination. It is not determination. It is a heart of faith. And because you are here when the family is here, and you come when the family doesn't come, the Lord is honored with that. He's pleased with that. And because of that, he also is grateful that you use your teaching gift, not only in the secular schools, but even in the church. And because of that, the Lord is blessing you with little John Michael, Michael John. And he's going to give you more. He's going to give you more. Now, this is what the Lord has told me for little Micah John. Micah means who is like our God. That's what Micah, who is like our God. Well, how can Micah know who is like our God unless he is taught? And so we have a little baby Bible that you're going to teach him. But I'm going to encourage you, Matthew, to teach him. You read it to him every night until you start the story and he finishes it. Because that's what happened with my kids. Now, the Lord has also said this to me about little Micah. Uh, he's, going to be a, he's going to be a great learner. He's going to be hungry for knowledge. And because of that, he's going to have wisdom and he's going to be an influencer. Now, you, by bringing him into the house of God, will make sure he influences people for good and not evil by putting the word of God in him. Not only will he be an influencer with his friends and in sports and in academics, but he will follow in his mother's footsteps to be a teacher. He will. And he will have a greater influence even where God puts him as a teacher. How's that for you, okay? You like that? Did you see that? All right. So, Matthew, this is a children's Bible. It doesn't have all the stories, but it has the best, you know, I can't say the best, but it's got the ones that people really know and he needs to memorize and get it down until he grows up. 
And this is just from our church that we appreciate you honoring the Lord by bringing him here and dedicating him. Thank you, Nancy. And this is a three flower ceremony. The white represents the purity of a mother, a mother's love. A mother always loves, no matter what. The red speaks of the bloodline of the father. Blessed is the bloodline. And then this yellow one with the little bud represents a little um, Micah. He's budding forth into life. And he's budding forth the right way in the house of God. All right. So I'm going to, first of all, ask you to hold this for me while I grab your son. I got to go introduce you. All right, right over here. Look, this is Micah John Terlizzi. I think so. We got to let everyone see him. He's like, whoa, this is a trip, isn't it? Grandma, grandpa. And one more over here. Look at all the family. Isn't he beautiful? All right, you've been good. I'll let you hold it. There you go. No, can't bite it. <laughs> all right, I'm going to hand you back to your mom, Erica, okay? There you go. And then I'm going to ask you guys to stand here, and I'm going to pray for you, okay? Just stand and face everybody. Would you pray with me? Would you stretch forth your hand? You pray any prayer you want as a prayer of blessing, please. And then I will pray. And let's bless Matthew and Erica and Micah John Trelizzi. Father, your word says every good gift and every perfect gift comes down from heaven. And you have blessed Matthew and Erica with little Micah. What a beautiful name, Lord. Who is like our God? No one. We pray, Lord, and we dedicate him back to you, for you give good things. And we pray, Lord, that he would grow in the grace and the knowledge and in stature and in favor with man and with you, God. I pray, Lord, that you would help Matthew, Lord God, teach him as a man what it is to be a man. Pray that you would give favor to Matthew at work, Lord God, and let him learn, Father, as he honors you, Lord, you will bless him. You will bless him. And for Erica, Lord God, as she is in the role of a mother and a teacher and a wife and a daughter, she has many hats to wear. But Lord, because she honors you, your strength is great in her. Keep her strong in you and the power of your might, Lord. We thank you, Father, for this family. Expand the family, Lord, as you have impressed upon me, you will. Lord God, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you for listening to the teaching from the Word of God. My name is Paul Height. I'm the pastor of Evangelical Christian Church, located at 1325 Watertown Ave in Waterbury, Connecticut. We would love to have you join us and worship Jesus Christ this coming Sunday at 1030. Now may God bless you, and may he continue to cause you to grow in the grace and the knowledge of his Son, Jesus Christ.